So we've seen how we can use the highlighting expert to do conditional formatting. Effectively, that's like a little wizard helping us out. We open up the dialog box, we set the criteria that will trigger the new condition, and then we apply the new condition. Now we can actually use formulas to do conditional formatting in Crystal Reports. Let's take our data report and let's pick on the last purchased date field. If we now right click and format the field, we're taken into the format editor. And what you'll find in here, any properties you can actually change, such as common, border, font, number, etc. If any of those have a little x2 at the end of their value, then we can actually use a formula to control that value. Now, some of the easiest items to control are tick boxes. So we can actually control this suppressed tick box using the X2. So that's effectively writing a formula to control conditional formatting. Because it's a tick box, the only formatting we can control is whether it's on or off. So we can do it here for suppress and that will suppress everything. If I say, okay, we see no last purchase dates. We go back in, format the field, Take that tick out. We actually only want to suppress those dates that are over 200. So we go into X2. This brings us into our formula workshop, which is where we've been plenty of times before. But you can see here in the title bar, we're dealing with this suppress value in the format formula editor. So it's the suppress value. So I want to suppress the value on the page if the last purchase day, so that's the field I'm looking at, is greater than 200. And that's all I need to do. I need to just put the condition. If this condition transpires to true, then effectively that's the same as placing a tick in that other box. Save and close. Brings me back to the format editor. I can now see X2 is at 45 degrees and has gone red. So I know there's a formula behind that box. And when I say OK, anything over 200 is then suppressed. And there's actually quite a lot of them. Right click, formula field and I'm suppressing any value over 200. I can go back in to make the edit, and let's say actually let's only suppress those that are over 300, so seriously long time since I last purchased. Okay, and you see a few more then appear. So we go back in. So anything with a tick box is very easy to add a condition behind it. For example, strike out and underline. So let's go with strike out. I'd like to strike out if the last purchase days is less than 250. Save and close. I get my little red X2 at a 45 degree angle. OK. Now anything under 250 gets a line through, gets a strike through. So very easy to add what I tend to refer to as on off conditions, format editor. And it's anything that you see here with a tick box. So in this case, suppress, Keep the objects together. Some things you can't conditionally format. You see there's no conditional option there for repeat on horizontal pages. That can only be turned on. It cannot be activated based on a value. Border, we can control drop shadow. So let's say OK and pick on the name. Format the field. And I want to control the drop shadow here. So drop shadow of the name field but the controlling value doesn't have to be the name field. It could be the net profit. So if the net profit is greater than 5,500, then we'll turn the drop shadow value to true for the name. So save and close. OK. You can see some of them then go with a drop shadow, but it's not based on this field. It's based on this field. So obviously, I add the condition to this field. So right click, format field, Drop shadow is being triggered by the net profit being greater than 5,500. So it's fairly straightforward to control these on off conditions. Anywhere you see a tick box with an X2 next to it will allow you to access the formula editor where you can then define your criteria that will effectively cause the tick. So by going in there and saying net profit greater than 5,500, that will return a true value. That's what causes the tick in the box. I don't need any complicated ifs or commas or brackets. I just state my criteria, which is that field greater than, that field less than, that field not equal to, all those kind of conditions you can put in that will trigger a true or a false. If it triggers a true, that's the same as effectively putting tick in there, but only for that record. That's why it's different for each line. So that's on-off conditional formatting.